In the last video, I was measuring the length of a cat and then estimated the uncertainty of my measurement. I came to an answer that the cat has a length of 0.5 meters plus minus 0.4. Now, estimating is good if you want to think about where uh, your sources of the uncertainty are, uh, but definitely it might be not be the most comfortable thing to do because, after all, it is an estimation. So, is there another way of uh, figuring out the uncertainty? Yes, there is. We can use statistics. In these statistics, we have three different methods of doing it. We have the min-max method. We can use average deviation. And we can use standard deviation. In order to use statistics, however, you need much more than just one measurement. So the downside of doing statistics is you need many measurements. So let's go do that. About 41 and 62, 70, 75-ish centimeters, 74, uh, 73-ish again. 69, 47, 68, 68, maybe 65, 53, 49, 35, 65, 51, 57. So I've measured the cat a total of 18 times and I got 18 different values. So we're going to start with the min max method. So what we need in the min-max, as the name suggests, we need to figure out what is the maximum value and what is the minimum value of all the measurements. I'm going to go through my numbers here. I'm looking for my minimum, which is 0 0.41, 0 0.41 meters. And I'm going to look for my maximum, my maximum is 0 0.77, so max. 0 0.77 meters. And now, how do we calculate? The formula says we're going to calculate uh, the value itself as simply the average of the min plus the max divided by 2. And then the uncertainty, we take the difference. So max minus min and we divide it by 2. If you think about it, if you have like several values, what we do is we say, okay, this is the minimum value, this is the maximum value. Our value we report is this, with the uncertainty of exactly half the range between the minimum and the maximum. So our uh, answer will include every single number here uh, inside. So let's calculate. Gives me 0 0.59. Plus minus, now max minus min, 0 0.77 minus 0 0.41 divided by 2 gives me 0 0.18 uh, meters. So again, uh, we're talking here about many uncertainty, uh, many a lot of uncertainties. So uh, what I prefer to do is I'm going to round this to one significant figure. So plus minus 0 0.2 meters and uh, then I'm going to round this as so only I have only one estimated figure. So 0 0.6 plus minus 02 is what I'm going to report using the min max method. So I can put my answer here next to it with the min max method. I got 0 0.6 plus minus 0 0.2 meters. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use average and standard deviation uh, to calculate it.